I've got a, a few <clears throat> pictures here that I've added to the uh, end of this video. <clears throat> the first one is of my soda kiln. And uh, then we proceed on to the kiln being fired. You see the brick wall that I put up there. Uh, there was some bright light, so it doesn't. It was actually at night. And here's the firing after it's done, and uh, you can see a few pieces in there. They, uh, you can, and you can see the soda build up on the shelves as well. And the cones are all the way over. It fired to cone 11, and this is actually peeking through the kiln into the kiln when the door was still up. And you can see the cones have gone over there, and there's some Ed Thompson's piece there in the front. And here's a teapot I did. It called a thin slab teapot, soda glazed. And a few glazes misted lightly over the top. So it's mostly just the action of the soda that gives this piece its color. Here's a piece I, I call a, a wabi-sabi piece because it sort of accidentally cracked at the top. But I think it, that is at the top of the handle. But I think it gives it a really nice kind of accidental, natural character to it. And here's a little um, uh, soda-fired um, pitcher. That I made, and it's got a cut rim so that the the spout sticks up pretty high. And this this next piece is from a series that I did that uh, I called my my jet teapots. They have little wings on them. They got the wings got bigger and little jet coming out the back. And this Mary found a, a root from a um, from a, a bamboo and it looked so cool. It looked like it looked like a, a teapot. So I made a what a uh, teapot bamboo root looking thing.